Great, another avatar for the set. Fuck. This guy will do to 20 bucks. And Lunatic, and myself. Peachy. Anyways, yeah, I'm putting my next big commentary project on hold for a short bit. The only reason being school starting in a few days, as well as me trying to better my art skills. And two, well, this. Okay, so context. Kanye Mola, a name you may be familiar with, ended up making a video on Blazing Hope, another commentary. Hello Fan made a commentary on that, Super Sonic War 15 and Sean S made a commentary on that, and then Kainu, who we're just referring to as Doc for the remainder of the video, made a commentary on that. And needless to say, you're probably already skipping over this and going to the interjection portion. And if you're not, three, two, one. I told you one, two, three, four, five, six thousand times. Haven't I made it obvious? Haven't I made it clear? Want me to spell it obvious? F for I and the S. Haven't I made it obvious? Haven't I made it clear? So, yeah, and number three, you said that, that live streams are lazy? Dude, I make live streams on my channel, does that mean I'm lazy? <laughs> nah, it just means you're Halo fan. No, that doesn't. I do live streams for the hell of it, because I want to. Doesn't mean they can't be lazy though. Look, Halo, you know just saying, oh, I'm just doing it for the hell of it, doesn't automatically mean it takes lots of effort. Let me give you an example. I like playing video games for fun. Does that now mean that playing video games takes a lot of effort? No, it's just pushing buttons. Kainu, I want you to consider what you just said. Like, think clearly. Think harder. 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 Okay, still can't see it. Okay then, this line is absolutely garbage. Okay, so like, video games are apparently just pushing buttons? How about- no? No? Okay, sorry, but let me list off a lot of examples to counteract this. First off, I'd like to bring in the most obvious example of mine. Game systems like the Wii, for instance. Most people who grew up playing a Wii probably ended up playing or having one particular game in the position while owning the console. Say game being Wii Sports, or Wii Sports Resort. What separates the Wii from other types of button pressing video games that focuses primarily on your own actions in the real world, particularly the motions of the body. Well, yes, if you were to pull up a game like Bowling, for instance, and when you have to hold a button and then release in order to throw it down the alley in the first place, even then, this would still go against the statement that you presented here, as you said yourself that video games are, and I quote, just pushing buttons. Heck, I have so many more examples I can list up that it isn't funny. Like, what about with a point to systems like the Nintendo DS? Multiple examples could be used to prove your statement wrong. One example is Hell, I mean Detroit, I mean Mario Party, Mario Party. One feature that came with games on the DS was the ability and option to blow into the mic as a means to perform certain actions in specific games. Mario Party being one such example. What about games like Rock Band? Wait, stop, even better, going back to the motion control idea. What about games like Just Dance or Dance Dance Revolution? Giving the timing and movements you have to perform it definitely wouldn't just be pushing buttons. There's also the whole entire not much effort thing, in which case I'd like to point to games like Dark Souls, Undertale, or Cuphead, where I already listed Dark Souls. All these games can be described as a game in which you have to mostly just push buttons in order to do anything. But anybody who's played Undertale tends to die more than they'd like against Sam, and Cuphead and Dark Souls are literally maimed, specifically for how difficult they are. No effort, my ass. That being said, I think I've made my point clear. I think it speaks for how lacking this point is when one well-known game system completely dismantles it. <laughs> Third comment from Kungi Mueller. There's no intro, and there's no conclusions either. It just looks unprofessional to me. All the other commentators will say the same thing about you. Kung, don't point to other commentators to make a point. Just saying the other commentators will say the same thing so it has to be correct is fucking dumb. And seems like you're trying to shield yourself from criticism by just saying the other commentators do it so I'm right, lol. Also, couldn't this be seen as an appeal to authority? Take those blindfolds off and actually look at what Kung was saying, Doc. That's not the point and you know it. Kung wasn't trying to say that he's right by any means. Now see, Kung's point here is still dumb, as after all, intros and conclusions aren't and shouldn't be mandatory for commentaries overall. But if I'm the lead one of parts of this comment off, it just looks unprofessional to me. All the other commentaries would say the same thing about you. Like in most, this is Kung just reinforcing his own opinion here, trying to claim that without the intros it'd be hard to see the work as professional. If he had mentioned anyone in the comment about himself being right, then sure, I could consider this a decent point. But as is, this is just committing a straw man. Kindly stop. I think I see the 
problem with this video. Kangi Muller and Halo Fan are both seen as easy targets, so you guys probably didn't put as much effort as you normally would. Now, now, I'm not trying to be a dick about it, but some of these arguments really have the scent of, they're bandwagons, so why should I care? Ugh, okay, can I go on a little tangent here for a second? Can I just say I'm personally sick of this type of line being used in the wrong manner? Like, seriously, I've been seeing this particular type of thing be said in Final Thoughts, yet it never has anything actually backing it up. Doc, if I'm gonna quote you here, some of these arguments have the sense of, they're bandwagon, so I don't really care. Where though? Like legit, I watch this whole entire commentary over and over. You don't have any points that hint towards this. No any other interjections you countered. At least when I made this claim in my videos of Neff and Clown, I actually had evidence and footage used to help back me up. He's not giving you criticism to make fun of you, he's giving you criticism to help you improve your extremely shitty content that's not worth a fucking nickel. It's fucking brilliant coming from you of all people. You are the one who will never change their style because they think their fans will get mad. Kung, I have so much to say here that I wish I could say, but I know for a fact you wouldn't take the criticism. If I can add something, most of the time this argument is affected, the target tends to either bring nothing new to the table, doesn't actually try to help the target improve, or just genuinely doesn't try to make decent points. Like a point of one example in particular, the commentary that K commentates, and going by KLH, made on Nero's Q, with most of the commentary just repeating the same bare bones arguments of it's hard to animate. Heck, don't even get me started on the Joshua Tree, then we'd be here all day. If you try to make the argument they didn't actually try to help them improve, I just point you to the end of the video. Specifically, the 7 minute final thoughts by Sean S going into exact details about how both of the targets can improve their content in the future. If you're going to explain how I didn't try in the commentary, actually elaborate to give these final thoughts something to stand on. Plus, like, honestly, given the two people you're covering, this is probably the worst time to use this argument. Consider it like this. One of the targets in this commentary of theirs? Halo fan. Halo fan has been covered by both of these two in the past, with both commentaries being shown to be of poor quality by both Ryan and Digital Tide. Heck, you mentioned those two in your introductory statement, so hindsight sucks, doesn't it? Target is none other than the twosome that got fucked by Ryan and Ty, Supersonic Ward 15, and Sean S. Actually, scratch that, in the case of Ward, would be screwing up and covering Halo fans three times if you count to Cancom, too. Does it make sense that these two wouldn't underestimate the same target? Again? Honestly, this feels like you just made this point clearly because a lot of other people are making this community, to be honest. The point I'm trying to get across here is that if you can't support this game with actual evidence, don't make the claim at all. We good? We good. Now, if you excuse me, I've got a long commentary to work on.